दिस इज वेरी एक्साइटिंग बिकॉज घोसला का घोसला ऑफकोर्स फर्स्ट रिलीज एटीन ईयर्स अगो एंड नाउ इट्स री रिलीजिंग ऑन दी एटीन एंड आई थिंक इट्स जस्ट अ टाइमलेस फिल्म हाउ मच एवर वी ऑल डू इन लाइफ आई हैव माई ओन शो सीजन सिक्स इज हैपनिंग द तारा शर्मा शो सो मेनी फिल्म एंड यू नो वट एवर वी डू घोसला का घोसला इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट एवरी वन टॉक्स अबाउट यू नो द फिल्म रिमेंबर्स द डायलॉग्स इट्स amazing that it's coming out again and that a whole new audience will be able to enjoy it too I think so and I hope so because as I was saying inside as well why does a film get re-released it's usually because an audience really wants it you know there's been buzz there's been um desire and i think uh, not just the new audience but a lot of the people who watched it before would love to watch it in the cinema again because it is a cult classic and also now i'm a mom and i've re- realized like my kids and their friends they've loved kosla ka ghosla so i think it'll be lovely for the new generation to also watch it in the cinema Honestly we have a fabulous relationship like Anupam so was saying and uh, Ranveer and Parveen uh, and me Vinay we really became like a family um Rupam as well on uh, the sets of Khosla ka Ghosla with Savita Raj our producer and the Bakar Jaydeep it was a it was like being in a it was a family and because it was a small budget film which took time to release it was not an easy film to shoot because there were a lot of budget constraints and stuff but i think that made us all closer and uh, i think the fact that it's done so well uh, made it all worth it 